Okay, this is our second web project. We're going to introduce two different ways of changing the appearance of text. We're going to look at styles and we're going to look at HTML formatting. Your reference for this will be the W3 Schools site listed in the assignments on Canvas. And we're working our way through the basic HTML tutorial. And so in this one, we're getting into styles and formatting, quotation and comments, as well as a little bit about colors and CSS. We'll be working with CSS for the rest of the projects, but we introduce it here. So you should read these sections from styles through CSS on the W3 Schools site to support what we're doing in this page. So you can see that I have Project 2 Winchester, and we're going to have a total of five projects. I've created empty folders for all of them, and I've added an index.html page here. And when you're adding these, you can just click on your folder, right-click, New File, and you'll end up with an index.html for each folder. Now, I don't actually want to work with this one, so I'm going to close it. We're working in Project 2, so make sure that you're in the index file for project 2. It shows you here I'm in project 2 Winchester index.html. Now I don't want to have you watch me type through all of these. At this point you know how to type into the page. You'll start the page with your standard exclamation point tab that puts in your HTML. You're going to have a title. Mine's formatting text for web fundamentals. Your title can be that or it can be whatever you're reviewing. And your options here are review a book, a TV series, a movie, a video game, a band, but you're writing some sort of review. You should have about half a page of text like I do here, half a page to a page, and you're going to apply several different elements to it. You might find it useful to just write all of your text first as H2 in paragraphs and then go back and add changes to them which is often the way that I work. I put in the content and then I format it. Or I'll do formatting and then I'll write the content, but I usually do them separately. So you should have your head section that we see here. And the only part of this that's visible to you is in the title, which appears in the tab. But do notice it does get caught up, cut off if you make it too long. Not a really big deal, just something to be aware of. Then in my body section, I added a style. This is an inline style. In our next projects, we'll move to having our style at the top of the page so we can just style the whole thing at once. So here I have a body with a style equals font family, Verdana, Arial, sans serif. And that's giving me a font for the whole page. And regardless of whether it's an H2 or a paragraph, they'll all inherit that font style. Then in my H2 style, I have a color orange, and it knows HTML knows many of the common color names, all your basic ones. In my H1, I have style equals text align colon center, that's centering this, and color orange. Color is your text or font color. If we wanted to set a background color, I'm going to add that here. So each different style is separated by a semicolon. So the semicolon adds, ends my font family. I can do a background color, and I can make it black, and then all my text is gone. If I do something like that, I'd want to do color white. That would make my text appear. Or I might do something that is less drastic and make it color ivory and that puts a slight color on the background. So those are some simple changes that you can make. And if I didn't like the orange color here, it knows all the common color names. I could have it as red, green, blue, pink, and there are many others. But I like orange against the ivory background. And so we have a few different HTML formatting here. We have strong. That makes things bold. And the reason that we don't simply say bold is because HTML5, which is the version that we're in, 
is considered to be a semantic language. That means that we're describing the intent, not the effect. The effect is that the text is bold. The intent is that we're making it strong, so we're putting a strong emphasis on it. That matters because it affects how things are read in screen readers for the blind, and also each browser has the option of how they style strong. You can override that with CSS. I'll show you how to do that in the next video. But you just want to know that it's semantic, which means we're, discuss, we're describing the effect that it's supposed to have. So that's strong. Here we have the title, Emphasis, The Midnight Hour. That makes it italic. If you have a delete, that makes it a strike through, because sometimes you want to show something has been removed and changed. If you want to show something's been inserted, here we're getting an underline with that. And then we have a block quote. Block quotes are indented in. And then we have, here we have the mark that's highlighting it. I should have an extra space here. There we go. And this is a superset. It's lifted up above the other. You could do a subset too that would make it below. Always in pairs. So that makes it drop below. So there's all sorts of little formatting things you can do. You'll do a little bit with the HTML. Typically you'll use strong and emphasis. Very common. Block quote, very common. Superset and subset, more common if you're doing math. But that's how you do your basic formatting. So you're going to create a review of some kind. You should have several different headers. You should apply a background color to your page. Now when you're doing colors, if you have a dark background color, like this, make sure that your text colors, so again your color here, should be very light. So it could be ivory, it could be white. Ivory is actually pretty good. And you might want to check your heading colors against this as well. The orange seems to work either way. But just remember, if you have a dark background, have a really, really light foreground color. What you don't want to do is something like this. You don't want to have a green background and a red color because that's really, really hard to read. And some people have blue or uh, red, green color blindness and they wouldn't be able to read it at all. You can see there's not enough contrast. So make sure it's high contrast. So having a default light background works well. You could leave it at white. That doesn't know when in. Okay, so you want a light background if you're going to put one in. Um, you can do a dark background if you'd like, but then make sure the letters are really light. So everything should be really high contrast. So what you're going to do is you're going to create your tutorial or your review. And then I want you to go through the styles section and it shows you how to add a background color, a text color, fonts. You can change text size if you like. You can change text alignment. I want you to use at least one of each of these in different areas. So you might do center for the heading or that. Then I want you to use in the HTML text formatting, these are all the ones that goes over, pick four. Use at least four of these. And use one quote. You can either use block quote or quote. And go ahead and add a comment. Comments are just information about the page. So I'm going to add a comment here. So you can add a comment. We don't use the comments extensively in HTML, but if you're doing something interesting in the styling or want to make a note for yourself or whoever programs it later, comments don't appear on the page. 
So those are all of the things that should be included in your assignment.